Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. When the Usyk Fury undercard was announced just a few days ago at the time of recording this video, there was expectation that one of at least four heavyweight contenders was going to be on it. And those guys are Agi Kabiel, Joseph Parker, Martin Bacoli and Zhang Zhilei. And I think the expectation from fans was at least one of those guys would be facing another of those guys on that card. But as we know, what we've got is a couple of heavyweight prospects, Moses Itoma and Johnny Fisher in action in respective fights against MC McKean and Dave Allen. So three heavyweight fights on the card. They're not terrible fights by any stretch, but certainly this card does lack a little bit of the pop and pizzazz from some of the earlier Riyadh season cards. I've seen some people pillaring it saying it's not very strong. Certainly doesn't have some of the oomph that some of the cards from earlier in 2024 have. So the question is, well, what's happening? It's kind of like these heavyweight contenders are in a situation of hurry up and wait. Remembering Turkey LL Sheik, who announced that card and has been a big uh, force behind Riyadh season and what's happening and the making of fights and that fighters getting paid uh, from what we hear is good sums of money. He had actually uh, called for Zhang versus Bacoli. And obviously Martin Bacoli coming off a huge win against Jared Anderson in August. The expectation was he would be in a big fight next and hopefully in 2024. Sadly, that, you know, hope is fading. And Bacoli, he has come out on social media saying that Zhang Zhilei has, has uh, forgotten his running shoes and uh, does not want to fight. So what I'll do is I'll just play a little bit of the audio from the clip that he's posted to social media. And I just heard that the Zhang, uh, uh, he said no to the fight and he forget his shoes. Big Zhang, come collect your shoes, man. Stop running away. I know your team is protecting you. They don't want you to get knocked out. So now I'm focused now on Aji Kabayal. Kabayal, be ready. Thank you, big thank you to IBF for giving me this big opportunity. I'm looking forward to be a number one next year. Big Kabayal, you're going to get it. Knockout. No one will run away from this. This is big machine, Martin Bacole. Knockout machine. The next and the future foreman. So next year is my year. Daniel Dubois, be ready. Joshua, he get knockout. Out of the line. Tyson Fury, Uzik, I'll be number one next year. Thank you guys, see you later. So Martin Bacoli, pretty clear, he wants that fight, he wanted it to happen. Uh, but on the other hand, Zhang Zhilei, obviously not liking some of what he's hearing, posted to his social media. He says, although I was anticipating an offer to fight Bacoli, my team has never received one. We learned that he possibly was going in a different direction, so we are moving on to another opportunity one that we've been working on for several months. Either way, this is an exciting time for heavyweight boxing, and I will have more news soon. So, contradicting and contrasting statements there from both Martin Bacoli and Zhang Zhilei. Zhang saying no offer ever came his way. Bacoli saying that Zhang just didn't want it. Maybe the truth lies somewhere in between. Does Turkey know all the ins and outs? I mean, really... I would have thought that this fight could have been made, should have been made, and it was the one that Turkey said that he wanted. So who knows really what's going on, but what we also have in this sort of picture at the moment is the IBF, and you can see here on screen, and this was uh, posted by Martin Bacoli to his Twitter, have said that Bacoli has been put in an eliminator against Agi Kabiel for the number one position. So that would be for the mandatory slot. And uh, I'll let you pause here to read at your leisure. But effectively, they're saying, let's make this fight and let's have it. So I guess we see and wait with bated breath to what's going to happen with this one. But has this occurred because the Zhang fight was off the table? Well, 
it looks that way but it's boxing nothing is ever easy straightforward and sometimes things can turn in a dime just because the IBF has said this fight is going to happen next doesn't mean it's actually going to happen because as we've seen with previous el eliminators in recent years sometimes they can go all the way to purse bid remember Dillian White walked away from a purse bid um, against Kubrat Puliev that had actually happened uh, you had uh, Michael Hunter doing the same a number of years later so we'll have to see what happens at the moment moment Agit Kabiol has he's been at training uh, just keeping busy uh, still looks in decent shape from his uh, social media and uh, he loves to post a good selfie as you can see here eight hours ago at the time of recording I think out of all these guys that have named Bacoli, Zhang, Parker who will come to in a moment and Kabiol I guess maybe most fans probably don't mind who he ends up facing some of the more interesting fights with maybe what would be considered bigger names uh, I think people would rather see first but Kapiel is no easy beat he is going to be um, a, a tough matchup for some of these heavyweights because he can box and move and he punches well to the body and he's already taken down a couple of um, you know fighters people weren't lining up to fight Arslan Bekmakamadov and Frank Sanchez and although Frank Sanchez looked to have some sort of injury a knee injury you know that's no easy feat managing to dominate him the way that he did so it's just really surprising, if, especially with Joseph Parker, that he's not on this card at the end of the year. And what he's done on social media is reposted to his Instagram story. And this was um, from his uh, Kerry Russell TV, his uh, media, social media guy, uh, a little mocked up photo with Parker with um, four non blondes playing, you know, what's going on. And then a little uh, news thing saying no opponent for Parker. And Parker's situation is pretty curious because he's taken down a couple of punches in Zhang and obviously Wilder. Uh, but remember, that's back in December last year for Wilder and March for Zhang. So it was coming up all Joseph Parker and now he's being made to wait. It doesn't look like he'll be fighting in 2024 uh, for the remainder of the year. So what was looking like relatively fast turnarounds, a lot of momentum, that momentum is just uh, sort of sloughing away now. You had Parker coming out a couple of months ago saying he was motivated, he wanted to face someone, he wanted to be in the ring, and he was talking around September, October. And there has been persistent rumors for months now that he would be at least on the undercard of Tyson Fury and Usyk too and you do have uh, a couple of guys um, who have featured on some of these cards before I guess most notably uh, you've got Isaac Lowe one of Tyson Fury's closest friends you know always on there and I guess it comes down to well what's happening behind the scenes and you may have seen bits and pieces floating around where people are questioning, well, what is going on? Why is no one facing Parker? Why are they making no matchups for him? And is it a case these guys don't want to fight him for risk of getting outpointed? I mean, it's hard to say. Or is it a money thing? It could be all sorts of factors. But in a way as well, I mean, it's very disappointing for all these fighters involved. I mean, Zhang Jilei, you know, in some of his most recent posts in the last couple of months has talked about wanting to fight for the title against Fury or Usyk. Uh, he did call out a Daniel Dubois after Dubois' win over Anthony Joshua. So is this a situation he's being lined up for a fight with someone like a Daniel Dubois? I mean, it's hard to say. Turkey LL Sheik has come out uh, in fight week for this um, uh, undisputed card uh, between uh, Better Bev and Bevel saying a big card is planned for February uh, but you know didn't give a, a lot away and uh, are any of these guys going to be featuring on it there seems to be a bit of a state of flux and hurry up and wait kind of surprising because um, some of these guys Martin McCauley scintillating performance against Jared Anderson Zhang Gilet huge knockout against Deontay Wilder kabiel has been uh, somewhat of a giant killer and really enhanced his stock and Joseph Parker has enhanced his stock incredibly after beating um, Zhang Gilet and Deontay Wilder and you could argue these four fighters are among some of the names that have um, enhanced their reputations the most out of all the cards that we've had so far throw in there probably Daniel Dubois maybe Jarrell Miller in terms of the heavyweight uh, stock and the guys that are in that top 10 these are the guys who are doing a lot of the heavy lifting sometimes delivering these upsets and performances of note shaking up the division and now 
they can't buy a fight. Joseph Parker looks like he'll be out till 2025. I guess um, it's a bit of a hurry up and wait situation for Bacoli, Zhang, Kabiel, and also Joseph Parker. I guess the, the story now is survive till 25. What do you make of it all? Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter. Boxing underscore squared. I'm out.